Hi everyone and welcome. This is an in-depth look at the Timco Metal Cavity Anchor. It's a heavy duty anchor for plasterboard and is designed to work in a variety of thicknesses of drywall as well as a variety of different applications. So now we're going to look at some of the key features on the product. It has a combination drive on the head, so this will fit a cross recess or slotted screwdriver. Underneath the head you will see that there's two teeth. This will clamp into the board and stop it from moving around. And then finally here, as we'll see later on in the video, these wings will expand the grip to the back of the board and give it really good improved clamping strength. So the cavity anchors themselves are bright zinc plated, so we do recommend that they're to be used in dry applications only. We're going to have a look at the weights now. We recommend that your M4 and your M5 cavity anchor should hold no more than 18 kilos, and your M6 cavity anchor will hold up to 29 kilos. So the Timco Metal Cavity Anchor comes in a variety of different packaging options to suit everybody's needs. First of all, we do the handy tin pack. So these will come in three or four pieces depending on the size of your anchor. Moving on from that, we come with the uh, robust resealable tin bag uh, with maximum of 70 pieces depending again on your size of anchor. And then finally, we do them in boxes of 100 for if you need those a little bit extra. So the tools that you'll need for the job are a drill, drill bit and a screwdriver. This will help set the anchor and also tighten the screw through your application. We also supply a setting tool allowing you to set your anchor quickly and easily. Featuring a release trigger to help remove the tool from the screw, this will help save time when you're installing a number of these anchors. In the next part of the video I'm going to show you how to install the product. I'll be going through standard 12.5mm thick plasterboard, but if you do need more information on a variety of plasterboard thicknesses, please click the link below. So first of all, we need to drill the hole in the plasterboard. I'm using an M5 cavity anchor, so that means we're going to need a 10mm drill bit. The next step is to insert the cavity anchor through the hole. So all you do is pop the head of the anchor into the setting tool, push it through the hole until the anchor itself sits flush, squeeze it a couple of times until it stops and you feel that resistance. There's a little release trigger there, we press that and it will pull the screw away from the board. Now that's done, unscrew your screw from the anchor there and then all we're going to do is put it through our fixture. And then the screw goes in against the fixture like that and then we'll just use our screwdriver to attach it. It is worth noting as well that this is actually a combi drive, so if you haven't got a cross recess screwdriver or you can't find it, you can use a slotted one as well. To purchase the cavity anchors or other Timco products, visit our store locator on our website by clicking the link in the description below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn for more information and Timco goings on. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.